Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on the uh, show right now. Oh, ho- uh, I'll call you back. Thank you, Shannon. Shannon is the host of, bef- uh, well, she's not the host of, producer before you, but she's the host of the, uh, the Great Threat Wire on the Tech Feed network, youtube.com slash tech feed. You also see her on Hack 5, and she does this show. So she gave me some big phones. In fact, i got to thank Darren Kitchen of Hack 5 for lending us this, because I've been very <laughs> intrigued by this. You know I've been saying... Apple should really make the next iPhone be an iPad mini. I like the idea of carrying around a big phablet in my uh, pocket. And uh, Samsung has kind of put their money where my mouth is by releasing, uh, first in Europe and now in the U.S., their Galaxy Note tablets as a phone. Yes, we've got phone numbers on this thing. I can dial out. It is, uh, in fact, I've got a T-Mobile SIM in here. You can buy it. Uh, it's a little expensive from uh, your local phone company. Uh, I presume GSM, which would be T-Mobile or AT&T. Uh, it's $4.99 off contract, and you get 100 bucks off if you're doing it on contract. So it's a little expensive. And I have to say, while this has many of the features of the Galaxy S4, the one thing it lacks that I, I really like on the Galaxy S4 is the very high resolution screen. This is only 1280 by 800. And on an eight inch tablet, that's not ideal. You do, on the other hand, get a stylus. So it's very much like a giant note. This is, yes, an eight inch telephone. Too big to fit in your pocket, but you've got the, you've got this, the stylus, the S Pen. You've, you've got uh, the phone features and, and really is truly a tablet. I mean, this is not uh, this is not a, a giant phone. It's it's a tablet. It's not a phablet. It's a tablet with phone capabilities, a SIM card slot, an SD card slot. It's only running a Jelly Bean 4.1, so that's a little disappointing. But I thought, well, as long as we're going to look at this, this is the Note 8, let's take a look at the Galaxy Mega. Now, remember, in just a week, Samsung's going to talk about the Note 3, which from all appearances is a super high-end phablet. The Mega is not. The Mega is also kind of a mid-range, not an HD screen, uh, 1280 by 800, 1280 by 800 again. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly adequately fast, has much of the same software package as the Galaxy S4, including the fun camera modes and so forth, but it's 6.6 inches. See, it's become very clear that what Samsung's doing here is basically making phones in every possible size, from the mini all the way up to the mega, and yes, even to the Note 8, 6.6 inches, 8 inches. Uh, these are great, you know, phones. You, you, do, you don't get the wonderful screens that you get with the Galaxy S4, the high-def screens, the 1080p screen. But at a, at a screen size of this size or even of the 8-inch size, I don't think you're really losing uh, a lot of quality. I found that even, uh, even at the 8-inch, 1280 by 800 is just fine. Remember, this is... This is roughly the same as the uh, iPad Mini's screen resolution. Um, then f- um, I thought, well, as long as I'm reviewing a giant phone and a big phone, why don't I review a teeny weeny phone? And and HTC has done a little phone as well. This is the Mini. Now here's my regular HTC One. Here's the One Mini. It's just a little bit smaller. In fact, it's not so much smaller that you'd even notice unless you put them side by side. The Mini is about iPhone size. It's a, a little bit bigger, 4.3 inches. It's not quite the same screen resolution as the amazing big sister, the HTC One. Uh, 300 some dots per inch instead of 400 some dots per inch. Uh, it also has a little bit, you know, the 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 side uh, instead of the brush metal buttons has just really more normal buttons. I don't mind that. It's the same camera, the ultra pixel camera, the four megapixels with two micron sensors, F2, excellent camera. You get all the Sense 5 widgets, like the Zoe, which I like quite a bit, the highlight, automatic highlight creation and so forth. Uh, but it's just in a little bit smaller size. I think really what, to me, uh, this phone reminded me of is kind of a, a ladies version of the HTC One. For somebody with a more petite hand, could be a, a guy too, but uh, kind of like a lady's wristwatch versus a man's wristwatch. Just a little bit smaller, not a lot, just a little bit smaller, a little bit lower resolution. Smaller battery, but because it's got a smaller screen and a lower screen resolution, uh, the battery life is about the same. They're doing a One Max. We don't have that one yet, but they're following the HTC lead of providing you with a variety of sizes 
The One Max will be uh, around a, f a five, I think, a 5.5 inch screen. So HTC will have also phones in a variety of sizes. So three different phones, three different sizes. Uh, pros and cons. All of them. Uh, the pro is you can get the phone that fits your hand, that fits your pocket, that fits your budget. Uh, the con, of course, and by the way, that's one nice thing about the Mini. It's 100 bucks compared to the $200 for the HTC One on contract. So it is a more affordable HTC One if you've wanted one. Uh, um, is it a buy, a don't buy, a try? I think in all three cases, these are tries. The whole, to me, the whole idea is, you know, for some people, like me, I like a big phone. Uh, it's nice to have something like the Galaxy Mega, which is absolutely a, a, a tablet-sized phone, but still small enough I can watch fit it right in my pocket here and just like a regular phone um, I do I should point out that uh, we're about to see the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 if you're in the market for a phone roughly this size which the Note 3 will be it's gonna be a little smaller than this uh, I'd probably wait and see what the, the Note 3 offers uh, we're hearing some interesting things rumors about specs and so forth if you've got to buy right now and you want a phablet I think the Mega is a good choice. If you want a little bit of a tinier phone, you like the HTC One, but you don't want such a big phone or such a big price, the One Mini is great. And I have to say, I still kind of like the idea, it's not for everyone, uh, of a tablet-sized telephone. You get some advantages. You know, if I look, for instance, at the settings on this, they really use the screen uh, size to good advantage. They now have a gutter that I could choose the setting and see the settings on the right Many applications, including the text messaging and phone calls, use this screen. Uh, it does have the Samsung dual window feature. So it's nice to have something this, this big if you've got somewhere to put it, if you carry around a purse or a backpack. Uh, and you really want a big phone, nothing. I think this is a great phone, great battery life. So in every case, it's a try. It's all up to you, the size of the phone you want. I just have to commend HTC, Samsung, both for giving us a real choice, a variety of phones in a variety of sizes to fit your budget and fit your needs. And the main point is there's nothing wrong with these phones. There's no reason to stay away from them. It's per, it, it's, if you like that size, if you like a little teeny weeny little mini one, go for it.